Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about current performance, their harnesses, mainly. A little bit about them if you don't know who they are. They deal in wiring harnesses. They do have hard parts. A lot of them are outsourced. They do make some in-house as like their motor mounts, um, a couple little things here and there, but mainly they do the harnesses. They specialize in Chevy Colorado S10 harnesses, direct plug and play, which is what this is. They also make them, um, they're getting into the Silverados, the, you know, the 90s Silverados. They're also getting into the F-bodies. They're doing other harnesses other than LS and LT engines now. I know they're making some stuff to work with 2JZ engines or some Honda engines, but mainly LS, LT based engines. They do make some plug-in harnesses for the Holley Terminator Dominator systems, like for the f body to make your clusters work properly, how you should just direct plug and play and adapter harnesses and extension harnesses. But mainly, I'm gonna talk about the LS engines and harnesses that I've dealt with. I put one in a Colorado on a 6.0 back in early 2010, I wanna say, still working great flawlessly. This particular harness is one of my third or fourth harnesses that I purchased from them and used. This harness had a nitrous backfire and melted as you can see. I sent this harness to them with no hope that it could be repaired because yes, their harnesses, some people look at them and say, oh, $900 for the Mac Daddy harness is kind of expensive or $800. I think the, the S10 ones range between seven and 900, somewhere around that range, depending on what options you want, if you want the braided loom or not. But some people think that's a little pricey for a harness that's supposed to work your whole vehicle. Again, I sent this back to them. I paid $900 for my harness because I got every bell and whistle. I was hoping I didn't have to buy a new one, so I sent this back to them. As you've seen, pretty melted, pretty bad. So they took it in, gave me a call, said, hey, we can fix it, half the price. No problem, fix it. I didn't have a lot of hope because they were fixing the harness, figured it's gonna come back with half melted plugs and all that. The most plug that's melted was this one right here. Just a little scored, worked perfectly. The inside of it isn't messed up in one bit. But again, their harness is a plug and play. Let me explain how. This piece right here goes into the factory S10, O3 S10 fuse panel. So you got all your factory fuses, relays you don't have to add and take any out. It goes right into it with your body control module, your lighting module, all that plugs right into it. This sits on your passenger wheel well, or driver's side wheel well, as you all should know if you're messing with one of these vehicles. Plugs right into it, works. And then this one goes over to the passenger side, plugs into your harness, plugs into your factory computer or your aftermarket computer technically. This will plug right into it, works perfect. I have an E67 computer, so I had to have a different um, transmission control module at that time. This harness, I had it removed because I went with the TH400 and don't need that no more. Another plug that goes into one of your factory harnesses on the firewall. They give you every relay you're gonna need, every fuse. Fuses, relays, all of them that you need in here. So there's no adding to, taking away, no um, calling your buddy who's done one of these or getting on Facebook, hey, I got this harness from Current Performance or from whoever and it's not working. Do I need to add a power and take power away? They literally tell you battery, crank sensor, starter solenoid, everything right here. Again, see the heated loom where you needed it. Now, say you're doing a turbo setup and where you put the hot side, you might have to add some, but if you're running a basic NA engine, that it's gonna be where it needs to be. They got it everywhere you need to be. Everything is labeled. Clear as day, so there's no questions asked. Hey, where does this go? Where does this go? Oh, is this the driver's side? Is this the passenger side? It's all linked perfect. And I mean, anybody who's ever touched a car can figure out how to put one of these in. I got two fan plugs, so you can run dual fans high and low, how it should from factory, no guesswork, no probing a radiator with that thing, no just turning the ignition on and the, ra and the fans being on 24 seven, how some of these people wire them up. It's all ran through fuses and then ran to relays. Again, how it should, so you ain't gotta worry about no back feeding, no burning, no, no melting, nothing, none of that. Everything works perfectly. They got the plugs here that go into your OBD2. So your OBD2 will read how it should. It'll give you your temp, your oil pressure, your volts. It gives you your gas gauge. Everything works perfectly. Even your cruise control on these harnesses will work if your car was equipped with it. 
they are hands down the best harness that I've seen on the market yet. So with that said, I've never had any kind of issues, flaws or anything with them again. I've been through plenty of harnesses with them and also through a Colorado and an S10. So I haven't dealt with their standalone, but the guarantee of the quality is just top notch. They will add or take away anything you want to add. I had a flex fuel sensor added to this one. So I could run E85, no problem. It's already pinned into the factory computer, so I don't have to take one of these apart and add a pin and run a wire through here where it's hanging out. You're trying to figure out how to get it in here and cut it apart. It's already added to it. They did it. Whatever transmission you're running, whether it be a 4L60, a TH400, an 80, whatever you're running, they will give you the, it will be wired into your computer if you need a separate, a separate computer for your transmission control module. They'll tell you, and there'll be a plug for it. They'll ask you where you want this mounted. You want it on the firewall. You want it on the, where the factory computer from the truck ran. You tell them, no, I want it in my glove box. They'll lengthen it for that. You tell them, no, I want it under my seat or in the bed of the truck. They'll lengthen it for you. However you want it, they will add it. They will take it away. So you just give them a call. Let them know what they have. Their motor mounts. I've had first-hand experience with their motor mounts. Perfect placement. Not too far to the right, not too far to the left. Sits up exactly six how it should if that motor came in that truck factory. Hands down the best. Poly mounts, I, like I said, I've used them, had a mid 10 second truck. I'm still gonna reuse them again on my new nitrous. On, I use them on my nitrous, I'm gonna reuse them on my turbo setup. They work great. So again, current performance, any harness you have, I'd always recommend them. Again, for the price, it's well worth it. It's all made in America, assembled, everything. Tech support, people who are working at the Florida factory where they're all built, you'll talk to them. They've either built the harness, installed the harness, something. It's not just someone that's reading out a manual, oh, well, this issue, you will talk to someone who works on it. And if they don't know a question, there's someone there that will figure it out. They will handle any issues you have without a glitch. So that being said, do the current form of harness. Do not go buy some aftermarket cheap harness that you found on eBay or some guys building them on Facebook and you get it, you put it in and guess what? It's not running right, it's not working, something's not pinned right, so on. I've seen it plenty of times. I've seen someone with a Solstice that had LS3 put in it. They bought a harness from a company that made it, sent it back four times, couldn't get it to work. They took the harness out, threw it in the garbage and bought a Holly system because they could not get it to work. Your best bet, spend the money, go with a reputable company. It's also made in America, again, and you will not regret it, I promise you. Thanks for watching my video. Please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and continue to watch for more reviews. Thank you very much.